Well, it started on the Gary Moore daytime show. Dick came on with a with a uh, a, 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 an interesting piece of material where he uh, he said, "Have you ever been driving along?" And he said, "You see these signs, like uh, uh, Lover's Leap is twenty miles from down, uh, such and such." He said, "You know, you you never slow down. You you can't slow down to see what they say, you know." And so, uh, I like to do a a little. Tell you what you know it feels like to be one of those signs. Uh, so he said, "Well, here comes a car now. You're only thirty-five. You 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 and they're gone." So Gary said, "You know, you know, I need something, you know." And so he said to me, "He said, well, what do you got, Bob?" So I said, "Well, I can give him passing cars, you know, speeding cars and uh, a Doppler honk, you know, kind of drag." So we did it. And 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 Dick loved it, and uh, he got a lot of laughs. So he was very happy, and so he had a, another sketch about being in a uh, a, a pantomime about being in a funhouse. And uh, Dick came from me. He he was originally he was a uh, uh, the, they call it the mimes. The uh, um, he had a partner, and they used to do records, mime to record. So he was very physical. He, he and they called him, you know, rubber fate, rubber legs, and all this kind of stuff. Uh, two uh, two comedians from Canada used to call him a, 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 a Ivy League Jerry Lewis because he was very manic. <laughs> so he he's excellent, you know, at moving moving his body. As a matter of fact, when we did this Broadway show together. Bob Fosse said, if he, I could move like Dick does, he said, I'd been the best dancer in the world. So anyway, he did this, and then I added the sound effects. And then he said, gee, this is pretty good, you know? And then I started writing and stuff. And sometimes I'd get a call at one, you know, at Monday that he was going to be on the Sullivan Show. And so, uh, you know, and so I would write him sketches. And so we we got in, he got this uh, this part in, in a, a Broadway show called uh, the Girls Against the Boys, and uh, one night he came to me and said uh, he said I'm going to quit the show and go back to back to Illinois. He said I'm fed up with this thing, you know. And uh, he said now that I'm I'm nothing but a glorified uh, you know chorus boy. He said, "All I'm doing is I'm doing this spider thing across the, the stage." I said, "Geez, I got an idea." I said, "What if you do this, something like this, where uh, you're so intimidated by your wife that uh, you know you come home drunk and you're so intimidated by your wife every time your wife looks at you, you sober up. So it gives you this." Uh, <laughs> Why well, no, dear? Why? why? Oh, oh, you you want you want a light for your cigarette? Yeah, you, you know, and then he's falling down, so forth and so on. So we did it, and it became the hit of the play. The play didn't last long, the musical, but uh, Aaron Rubin and I the collab I collaborated with Aaron Rubin, and uh, it was you know the hit of the of the play, and you got all the raves, and so uh, they saw it. Uh, and uh, that's how he got the Dick Van Dyke show. And they used that that sketch on the uh, pilot. So uh, we had a wonderful relationship. I mean, Dick was, we both thought, thought on the same, you know, level. I mean, you know, we'd start something, and, and we both knew where we were going, and we both start laughing, and uh, it was it was really, it was one of those happy, happy, wonderful, uh, creative uh, uh, marriages. 